Back with me tonight is Chris Dingman, a friend of Riley Strain's family. Chris, great, great to have you back on the show. You agree with Riley's family that he didn't fall into the river by accident. You have some pictures that you've taken to help explain why. It was a very steep embankment that had a lot of rocks, a lot of trees. You say it's impossible to fall down it without getting some sort of mark on your body. Yeah, it's the terrain right there. We've been trying to explain to people from day one. It's just extreme terrain. The police actually tied off ropes to repel at that picture we're currently looking at to get to that point. Uh, so, yeah, the families had a real big issue with that. Uh, we actually had and we're thankful we actually had a local Nashville native that actually took a tire from that picture that we're looking at right there and rolled it off of that ledge and down towards the river and the tire never made it past that first leg after that 21 feet. Uh, that tire's gonna bounce a lot more than a body would, you know, not to sound morbid, but there's just no physical way Riley could have fallen on any type of those lengths or, or diameters and not had any serious body uh, problems with him. You went to this homeless encampment that's near the river um, and that police have said it was possible Riley fell from down into the river. And you say after being at that encampment, there's no way he could have fallen from there either. It's like an absolute jungle. Uh, we actually had the gentleman do a video of it and they're called like switchbacks when you're hiking. They switch back and forth going up extreme terrain just so you're able to do it. And just walking through the gate where, quote unquote, may have been the other option as far as Metro Nashville thinks, there is no clear visible shot to the water, let alone the fact Riley would have had to went by the homeless camps and the people staying in them to even get to the water. At one point also, I've been, you know, from the very start of this thing, I've asked you, um, and Riley's uh, stepdad when he was on the show as well, and his dad, about the possibility that he was drugged that night. Um, his mom said that he texted her and said that his rum and coke tasted weird, like barbecue, he said. Do you think it's possible that he was drugged? We know he only had one alcoholic beverage at that last bar before being basically kicked out. We have had, and even today, I've had a dozen more people reach out to me from that story coming out last night that unfortunately have had that incident, uh, have been drugged down on Nashville. Uh, and recently that they had woken up, uh, passed down in vehicles, uh, leaning next to buildings. So I think Nashville definitely has an issue with what's going on in the bar scene down there. I'm not pulling out any bars. It's like any major city. But from what Riley had texted to his mom and uh, what other people uh, that have literally had that happen to him in Nashville recently uh, reach out to us, it could be a possibility. Okay, I've got to ask you, I'm still, ever since you guys revealed on this show a few weeks ago that you hadn't heard from the fraternity sure. brothers since the night he went missing, um, I, 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 our audience I know, I was shocked to hear this. Um, have you seen any pictures or videos that these young men may have posted? I mean, first of all, this is a bunch of fraternity brothers on a road trip from Columbia, Missouri, where Mizzou is, to Nashville, Tennessee. Um, you know, they're bar hopping. I, I, I've got two kids, sons around that age. They're constantly walking around with their phones, taking pictures and videos. Yep. Anything from that night? You know, we've got nothing. Uh, and on top of that, I thought maybe even after the parents doing their interview last night that maybe a parent of one of the fraternity brothers or sorority sisters per se got more of a conscience than they had and, you know, started talking to their kids and trying to get info. And at this moment, we have crickets. There's nothing that's been said or produced uh, at all. Nothing at all? No. And once again, just to put a point on this, while you were at the emergency room and when you were it, 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 frantically searching for Riley, at some point you saw those fraternity brothers getting home from their night out on the town. Actually, that was Chris and Michelle and Riley's stepdad. And yes, they were sitting outside the hotel in the truck uh, and actually the kids walked back by and waved at them and made eye contact with them coming home from their party. So. Uh, it, it's extremely frustrating. Uh, it's probably a good thing that I wasn't there. Uh, it, it 
you know, I'm just old school. Uh, I, I will say this, uh, you know, we've actually had some incredible people in Nashville that has been boots on the ground for the Strain family for us, uh, constantly trying to find information and leads. Uh, we found out today that one of the detectives or possibly both the detectives from Metro Nashville is actually at a police training seminar this week. So we're hoping that maybe they show back up and they learn something in their seminar that can help us figure out what happened to Riley. So, we're, you know, we're still trying to get answers. Yeah, I understand. But, Chris, you have to also understand probably there are some there might be people out there saying this family just can't accept that he just might have fallen in. Do you know what I mean? Like. Sometimes. Oh, 100%. And, yeah. you know, if you've not been there and physically seen the terrain or known the kind of outdoorsman, whether Riley was drugged or not, we have no witnesses saying he left the sidewalk and went any farther than that. Okay. We have witnesses up within 10 foot of where he supposedly went missing now. Nobody says he walked over the retaining wall or went through that fence. Okay. So now that you've looked at the terrain and see how drastic it is, even if Riley would have fallen at one spot, you've still got 30 feet before to even get to the water. That's after falling over 20 feet. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.